What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Let's get into the news. It was a huge day for Samsung as they announced a few things today that is definitely going to be in the interest of most people that have Samsung devices. First off, they announced officially their Samsung foldable phone. Now it was housed in a basically like a brick to not show off the design because they're not fully ready to show off the design because it's not going to be out until 2019. No big surprise there. As for the size of the screens on there, it's going to be 4.6 inches when it's folded up and 7.3 inches when it's opened up. Now what it looks like, this is what it looks like. And again, it's housed in a casing, so it's not really, you're not really able to see exactly what it looks like. And plus the bezels will be smaller than what they look like now because it's all kind of bundled up and hid, but it's still interesting to see what it looks like. And the way it's shown in terms of it, you know, in a casing, it obviously is not a beautiful looking device, but it gives us an idea of what it's going to look like. As for the resolutions of the displays on the 4.6 and the 7.3 inch when it's fully open, you're looking at 840 by 1960 when it's closed with an aspect ratio of 21 uh, 9 and the PPI should be 420 when it's 7.3 inch display, which basically turns it into a tablet. Uh, the resolution is 1536 by 21. 52 same pixel density which would be 420 and you can also do multitasking you can see the photo right here and both of these photos from sammobile.com i'll link the site down below if you want to take a better look but anyways on the left that's when it's fully open you can see that's full window and then when you do multi windows you can see you got looks like youtube on the left and then on the right looks like probably like a website uh, so there is kind of some kind of cool multitasking that you can do and you can do this on a lot of other phones and tablets as well the software that it's going to run is going to be seamless across phone and tablets that Samsung releases. They're changing the name of it from Samsung Experience, what it used to be called TouchWiz, to now One UI. That's going to be the new name once Android Pie comes out officially for Samsung devices. And here's a quick, and here's a few screenshots taken from the Samsung One UI that Sam Mobile captured on video. And it's, you know, basically Android Pie with just an updated look slightly to the user interface uh, for Samsung phones. The beta for Samsung One UI, or AKA Android 9.0, is going to be officially, at least you can sign up for, at least try to sign up uh, via the Samsung Plus app in America or Samsung Members app, I guess, uh, all across the rest of the world. And if you're chosen, you're gonna have that beta version running on your phone. Now be, war be prepared about that. If you do run beta software, sometimes devices, things don't work the way they normally work so be a little bit wary of that other than that guys um, you're looking at a 2019 release of the new Samsung foldable phone slash tablet we don't know official specs beyond the resolutions of the display we don't really know what it's really really going to look like um, it's an exciting product because I like the idea of having a phone and a tablet all in one and 7.3 inches really isn't that large of a tablet but it's still gonna be a cool device. I hope it's priced reasonably well. Also, Samsung One UI uh, will be released in January 2019 for S9, S9 Plus, and Note 9. I would assume it's not gonna come to everybody that says has Verizon or AT&T. You'll get it in 2019, but I'm thinking it's probably gonna be a month, two, three months down the road after January before you get it. I doubt when January hits, you're gonna have it right on your device. I could be wrong. But I'm a betting, I put a good uh, 20 bucks on there that it probably won't be ready for everybody on that date, even though that's officially when it's coming out. So that is your news for today. Cool stuff coming out from Samsung. Let me know your thoughts on everything that was talked about today. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll see you guys down the road. Peace.